So our uh, first project after we build our shelter, for me, is is to lay out my camp. So I've got my my bivouac site right over there, and my water source is is down that way, about 200 yards. So I'm going to build my latrine here. The prevailing wind is, is in my face, so it, my camp's over there. Any scent from here will blow away from my camp. So I'm going to build a simple latrine. It's one of the most important things I think you can do in the, in the wilderness. Uh, health aspects of getting dirty and getting sick can end a, end a trip in a bad way. So a uh, simple latrine, make yourself comfortable in the wilderness and you can shit in the woods. So here's all I do. I've got two, uh, two big trees, I got actually three trees. These first two is where I'm going to put my, uh, my seat. So I've taken a, a good stout log and I've notched a flat spot on both sides and I'm going to flash it to this tree and I've already measured my height, it's about that high and I've made a couple of cheater sticks so I'm going to put this right there, help me hold it. When you're alone you have to figure out the shortcuts to how to hold this stuff. So there we have it. That's about the right height. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah, that'll be that'll be comfy. Now the other important factor about picking a latrine site is I'd like to have one with a great view. So I wish this looked out over the out over the bay, but it doesn't. It just looks over the wilderness and the forest, the trees, and uh, and that's all I can gotta have. So I'm gonna start with a couple of uh, eight foot sections of paracord. Uh, you can use anything here. I'm going to use a simple clove hitch to get started on this lashing. Nice and close. About three turns is all I need. Now I'm going to finish it off with a couple of half hitches here. Help pinch it down nice and tight. I apologize if I'm off camera here. There we go. Another section of cord. Having everything pre cut I'm sure makes it a lot simpler and quicker to go. Speed this up with a little bit of manual dexterity on the fingertips. My goal in camp is always make myself comfortable and then everything else will fall into place. There we go. Well let's give it a let's give it a test. Oh yeah, pretty comfortable. Now if you're relaxed things seem to work out. And to make it even more comfortable, I'm going to add one more piece of wood to it. I'm going to go to the back side of the tree. I'm actually going to go to the back side of this tree, like this. And that'll become a place to lean back, so when the wind blows, I won't get knocked over. But I'm going to put that together, and uh, I'll show you the finished product when we're done. All right, so here's the, here's the finished, nearly finished latrine. So I've got uh, this piece nice and solid, and what I've added is a backrest. So I've just simply lashed that onto the two trees in the back. This one's on the front of the log of the tree, and this is on the back, so it gives a little space there. It's nice and comfortable. I've lashed that on with the with parachute cord, and parachute cord's too too uh, too valuable to waste on something like that. So what I've done is I stripped the innards out of a piece of parachute cord. There's uh, seven strands in here. 
and I just used two strands of tie on each of these pieces. Not a lot of strength, not a lot of weight on that piece, so uh, this 100 pound line there should hold that. So let's give it a test, see how it feels. Oh yeah, that's, that's pretty comfortable. So the other thing I've even made it a little more comfortable is I've taken my knife and I've, I've taken the, the bark off of here, make it nice and soft. No snags when I'm sitting on there. And I've moved off the back a little bit. I can lean back there without getting poked in the back. Feels pretty good. So, that's, that's how that works. So if there, if you're comfortable, you can definitely relax and do your business. So, uh, a few more things to do before we finish this up. One is we have to dig a nice hole in the back. And I'll get on that here in just a second, but but uh, part of the needs of having a latrine is to keep your hands clean and keep yourself clean. So how are you going to wipe yourself out here in the wilderness without toilet paper? Well, the uh, the more traditional way is is moss, which is plentiful around here, and I would simply get this a little, put a little water on this, and, and use that to scrub myself, and then wash my hands at the at the stream. Uh, Pine cones aren't like corn cobs. These are these are killers. Stay away from that. The other thing is, uh, we have lots of leaves here right now, uh, but these shiny ones, yeah, they don't do a very good job of cleaning. I was thinking when I was building this tree, I have a handy toilet paper dispenser right there, but but the shiny leaves that don't work too well. What I have found works best for me is I simply take my handkerchief and I cut about a four by four square. And then, while it sounds gross, I use it multiple times. So I'll lay, it, I'll lay a piece here and a piece here. Want to be wet, want to be dry. When I'm ready to wipe, I use, a, use it when I want. Clean myself, then take that and myself down to the stream, wash my hands, wash out my toilet paper. And the next time I come back this way, I'll bring it back up and I'll use the, use the dry one the next time. But uh, getting, uh, getting fecal matter on your hands is pretty easy to do in, in this kind of a wilderness situation. And then the biggest way to get sick is everything is eaten by the hands and you contaminate yourself. And you don't want to spend a lot of time here, and if you don't keep yourself clean, this is where you'll spend a lot of time. So, so here's our almost finished latrine. The only thing we have left to do is dig the waste pit. So I fashioned a digging stick, split a, with my axe I sharpened up a nice piece of hardwood, good grip. I'm digging out my hole here, just about have it done, and a little hand work. And I store all this dirt up here at the top. So you'll notice that the hole is, is bigger, one deeper at this end, and shallower at this end, because as I fill this up, I'll keep digging it across. So the first day I go to the bathroom here, I'll sit over here. Next day I'll sit here, and third day I'll sit here, back and forth. That way my waste gets evenly distributed, and after every use, you know, I'll do the dirt on top flush. That way it won't fill up too fast. Now this should be good for about a week, maybe even longer if I'm not eating much. And uh, after this is full, uh, I'll simply take this down, move it to another tree over there, and dig another pit. Really easy to do, not very hard, but it's very important that uh, we manage our waste. The bears are going to come sniffing around this, and... Uh, we want them to be totally discouraged with what they find. So I hope you enjoyed this latrine. I know this has worked for me for many times in the world.